Welcome back into the Sports Geek. I'm your host, Jared Schlensky. Today, I'm going to continue with my NFL preview pieces by focusing on America's team, Jerry's team, the Dallas Cowboys. There's so much to talk about, most notably the betting lines. I promise we'll get into that, what they've done this offseason, how they did last season, and their schedule for the 2021 campaign. But first, hit that like, subscribe, and notification button if you want to leave a comment in the comments section. As always, we begin with the betting lines, and right now, Dallas 3-1 favorites to win the Super Bowl via Bovada. To win the NFC, plus 1,400, that's the best line you'll find via bet online. To win the division, Dallas, I know, finished second last year in the division. Six wins, ten defeats, disappointing under first-year head coach Mike McCarthy. They're the consensus favorite to win the NFC East, and rightfully so. They have the best team out of the other opponents in their division, plus 135 odds via bet online. As for the playoffs, if you think Dallas is going to be in the postseason, minus 150. If you don't think they're going to be in, plus 130. As for the win totals, for the most part, the over-under is set at 9.5, but I found it via bet online at 9 wins. If you like the over like I do, minus 140. If you think it's going to go under again like last season, plus 110. Again, they've got a great team on paper, but you don't win games on paper. You win games on the gridiron. Dallas was unable to do that last season. Are they going to be able to do it this season? I'm high on them. As for MVP, Dak Prescott in the top 10 across most sports books, plus 1,600, the best you'll find via bet online. Also, Dak, the front runner to win Comeback Player of the Year, plus 225. I like Dak for Comeback Player of the Year. Not necessarily think he's the best choice, but he's definitely someone that deserves to be in the conversation. Again, plus 225 odds. You're getting a good odd line there. It makes sense to put some money on him for comeback player of the year. For MVP, I wouldn't touch it just because Mike McCarthy, it's been kind of up and down throughout the course of his coaching carousel. I would be reluctant to bet there. As for coach of the year, plus 2,800. Now, I just mentioned how Mike McCarthy's coaching career has been kind of up and down, up and down, but he's in an easy division, the NFC East, but they've got to be better than they were a year ago. Six wins, 10 defeats. I'm not convinced Nine wins will be enough to win the division. Washington much improved, but let's just say nine wins does win the division. I'm confident Dallas can get there. If Mike McCarthy can win the division and maybe win a playoff game, he could be in the top three for coach of the year. It's worth putting money on Mike McCarthy for coach of the year. As for defensive rookie of the year, this is my go-to bet for the Dallas Cowboys. First round draft choice, Micah Parsons out of Penn State plus 550. For the most part, he's the consensus favorite. This is a guy who's going to come in right away, start at middle linebacker, has a great core behind him at the linebacker position. Guys he can learn from, like veterans Jalen Smith and Leighton Van Der Esch. It makes a lot of sense to put money on Micah Parsons. For defensive rookie of the year, I'm high on him for that award. As for the first coach to be fired, I found this via my bookie. Mike McCarthy, number one, plus 750. We all know Jerry Jones is not afraid to make changes. And we all know Dallas was bad last season. If things go south early, which they have a tough opening game against Tampa Bay, don't be surprised to see Jerry pull the plug and make changes. Again, with the odds being so much in favor of the better there, it's definitely worth putting some money via my bookie on Mike McCarthy to be the first coach to be fired. As for last season, a disappointment. Tied for second in the division, six wins, ten defeats. Not going to work again this season. Don't be surprised if that's the case if Jerry Jones makes a change. That's, again, if Dallas is six and ten. I, I don't see it. I think they're going to be at least an eight to ten win team. Last season, the problem wasn't all offense, even though Dak got hurt. It was mostly defense. 29.6 points per game. Fifth most allowed in the NFL. They bring in a proven defensive coordinator, Dan Quinn, who won a Super Bowl with Seattle. I expect their defense to be much better. Offensively, they finished about middle of the pack, 24.7 points per game. That was 17th with Dak running the show, assuming he can stay healthy for the whole season. Same thing with Ezekiel Elliott. This is an offense that could be very dangerous. They have weapons, C.D. Lamb, Michael Gallup, Amari Cooper. It's just a matter of whether or not they can stay healthy and they're going to have time to throw the ball. The offensive line was somewhat inconsistent last season for the Dallas Cowboys. As for this offseason, they really addressed special teams. Got a new punter in Brian Inger. Got a new long snapper in Jake McQuaid. They also got Keanu Neal, who played with Quinn in Atlanta. He's a guy that can play safety and linebacker, a good hybrid guy. They lost a lot, though, too. Most notably, Chidobe Azuwe, starting corner over the past he is no longer there. Same thing with Andy Dalton. He goes to Chicago, so now not a proven veteran at the backup quarterback position. Cameron Irving was a starting offensive lineman. That's a tough blow. Plus, Alden Smith, 
yeah, he's had a hard time in the past being allowed to play in the NFL, but he was great last season. He's moved on. Same thing with Xavier Woods, who played uh, the majority of his time in Dallas at safety. So there's a lot more losses than gains this offseason. But again, that roster is just so stacked. It's hard to bet against Dallas. As for their schedule, they've got to play Philadelphia twice. Same thing with the Giants and the Eagles. As for outside of the division, they've got the NFC South, which means they've got Tampa Bay, Atlanta, New Orleans. They also have the AFC West. Toughest game there will be Kansas City. Plus, New England, Minnesota, and Arizona. Not an easy schedule, but not super hard, especially compared to the rest of the division. As for Dallas, I do think they win the division. I think they're an 8-10 to 10 win team. We saw seven wins win the division last season. I know there's an extra game. I like them to win the division. You should put money on it. As for Defensive Rookie of the Year, I already mentioned that. Micah Parsons out of Penn State. He should be your go-to bet when it comes to the Dallas Cowboys. It makes sense also to put money on Mike McCarthy for Coach of the Year just because if this is a team that can win the division, make a deep playoff run. Don't be surprised to see McCarthy finish in the top three, top five, maybe even win it just because of how bad they were last season. They seem to reward coaches who can turn it around, and Mike McCarthy has the potential to do so. Again, I like Dallas. I think they're going to win the division. There's a lot of bets you can put on Dallas. Most notably, I like them for to win the NFC East. I also think they're a team that's going to finish over nine wins, but I would be reluctant to put money on them to win the Super Bowl, the NFC, or even make a deep playoff run. Good luck with your bets. Bet big on Dallas if you want. If you want to stay cautious, knowing that they were bad last season, wait it out. Either way, good luck. I'm your host, Jared Slensky. See you next time here on the Sports Week.